morning. It is cold, my goodness. Welcome back to the channel. I am gonna be completely honest. I am so tired. I am exhausted. I'm not gonna try to act cool and be like, yep, yeah, early morning sunrise life, you know, just waking up, you know, it's no big deal waking up 4 a.m. and heading out. I'm gonna be honest, waking up early, it sucks. It's hard. It is really hard, especially when you get later into the year and it's only May. The earlier the sun rises, the earlier you gotta get up. The farther you are away from your destination, you just have to wake up that much earlier. So I come to you live from Mount Rainier National Park. Decided to make a trip up here for my girlfriend's birthday, which is this weekend. Wanted to get out, do something local. So we decided to come to the park and yeah, it is snowy. <laughs> Complete 180 from what it's like back in Portland right now. I really didn't think about how much snow there would be here. If you're new here, my name is Elias. I'm an amateur landscape photographer. I like to travel to different locations, especially in my local area, and try to see what I can find and share my experience going through this journey of landscape photography. If this kind of content might interest you or you like seeing things in the Pacific Northwest or just somebody having a good time and waking up super early, hit that subscribe button. I put a video out every single week. So let me give you the rundown of what we're doing right now. A lot of stuff's closed due to the snow. I don't have snowshoes. This is pretty much a leisure kind of trip. It's like a leisurely like walk kind of pull up kind of trip, which is totally fine. Now this is Reflection Lake. It is not a lake right now. It is a giant snow capped mound. So I was here yesterday shooting some time lapse of uh, Mount Rainier at sunset. There's some cool like cloud interaction with Mount Rainier was awesome. And today I wanted to come back here to try to get sunrise and get the alpine glow of Mount Rainier. Now, bluebird sky, absolutely dull, no interest. So I'm really hoping the mountain can shine. As I was pulling up here, I was actually gonna go down there to my original spot, but as I was pulling up, I noticed that there's some like mist coming off over here. So I pulled over real quick. I'm trying to shoot this real quick so we can head over there, see what we can find. I brought my coffee real quick. I am so tired. Last night we got back to the cabin. I brought a bunch of my own firewood, as you can see here. The cabin had firewood and I was like, oh, I was so ecstatic for it. And I'm building this fire and I forgot that it's been raining here for weeks. And I didn't notice that this firewood is, is wet. It's all wet. So I'm trying for over an hour and a half yesterday to build this fire. Pretty much long story short, didn't eat dinner till about 10 o'clock at night, getting everything ready, dumping footage from what I did today. Man, I didn't go to bed till about midnight, about four hours of sleep, got up. I did not want to get up this morning. I almost didn't, but glad I did because this looks cool. Let's get up there. We don't have time for this. do here. I don't know if I should do a time lapse. I don't know if I should take a picture. I don't even know how to get down here. This looks really cool though. Sunrise is in like 20 minutes, so how's it going? Oh god. I don't recommend this, especially because I don't even know I'm supposed to be down here. I know that this is frozen solid, but I am from Alaska and I'm used to walking on frozen lakes. Wow, this is, this just looks really cool. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how to shoot this. Oh my God. Time lapse, maybe? This is just, it's just, you got this mist just everywhere. You, it's just. Then you got the mountain, you got the Alpine Glow starting. Sunrise is in like 17 minutes. I gotta think. car coming man man crisis averted we had a bunch of specs on my lens and i was trying to take it it's super slippery i'm running around here trying to figure out composition i'm pretty sure i found one i got this cool little divot in here that i found and it kind of creates like a it creates kind of a subject it creates shadow there's contrast on it you got the mist rising right above it i'm just about man it's getting even more thick right now too the sun is just hitting the top of the mountain which looks incredible oh this is this is insane you got the mist just getting even more thick 
throughout the lake right now. You got the sun hitting the top of the mountain. I'm trying to get like a longer exposure to get kind of like that dreamy look with the mist. So I'm on a really high F stop, which sucks. So I'm shooting at F22, which I don't want to do, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to bracket these one full stop over 1.6 seconds exposure, which is going to give me a really cool dreamy look. Drop it down to a normal exposure, which is 0.8 seconds and to really get the highlights in the sun. I'm gonna drop it down negative 1.3 exposure, quarter of a second shot. Very stoked about this one. Oh man, I got to get moving quick. Got to figure out my next shot. struggling out here this is such a sick scene but it's so hard to capture what I'm seeing through my camera and it's it's just it's it's been a struggle found these three trees here that are in the immediate foreground and I think they kind of hold like an anchor they have a symmetry it's like a triangle almost one two three and I think they look cool so the Sun is just rising it's hitting Mount Rainier I'm waiting for some of that Sun to kind of create a little bit more contrast in the snow because it's so hard to see where the snow dips and curves because of this mist. This mist creates so much cool atmosphere. I might just set up a time lapse dude because it looks so sick but I think I got two images right now. One of the divot with the really cool contrast. The second one is going to be these three trees in the foreground. It sucks because this one breaks the horizon of the tree line, which you don't want to do. I might edit that out. <laughs> I don't mind taking things out of a picture. I don't really like adding things to a picture. This mist is so cool, dude. The mountain just looks so amazing right now. I wish I had my coffee with me. I got the moon behind me over there. We got the sun hitting these spires, these huge peaks that come out over there. Dude, this is awesome. Really cool for a walk up, but. Hurry up and get this. I hate shooting an F-22, but I really want that long exposure to get the mist, to get that kind of dreamy look. I'll take some sharp ones too. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I need to just calm down. Breathe, breathe. This is amazing, man. I'm so glad I came out here. I'm so glad I woke up. Oh. So I ended up going back down to the car, grabbing my coffee, there's not much left. This is Folgers, by the way, I forgot to bring coffee. Last night, I was setting a little coffee pot in our Airbnb. We're, we're not camping, by the way, we're staying in a really cool Airbnb, I'll show you later. Went to make coffee last night to go off at like three in the morning this morning and realized we forgot the coffee. Luckily, the Airbnb had Folgers, at least, which I haven't drank Folgers in a long time. You know what, dude? This is so much better than nothing. So, got a time lapse going that's, I don't know if it's worth a damn, but we're gonna try. Cast a little bit of mist that's fleeting right now. Got the sun coming up a little bit more, creating a lot more contrast across this lake. So I think I might get another image as soon as the sun starts hitting all these little hills and valleys. Got the mountain up to our left. Just goes to show, man, if you roll over, hit that snooze button, you look at your alarm, you're like, oh my God, do I really wanna do this? Yes, yes you do. Because you never know until you try, you don't know what you're missing out on. I have a bad case of FOMO every time every time i miss out on something i always think what did i miss out on i would have missed out on this this is great especially after last night how wrong everything went this is what i needed it's a good morning Call it mist. This fog is like a light, misty fog. Ebbs and flows. It was completely gone. Now it's back. The sun is just breaking over the horizon right now. As you can probably see, my face being lit up. And it's so interesting because it just, oh wow, this looks cool. 
I'm getting this time lapse of pretty much nothing. The mountains over there, wow, the contrast looks super sick going this way. And you could really see the mist against the wide open blue sky. So it's just crazy how much it, it, it ebbed and flowed. Like it was just like it was there, gone, there, gone. And it's back now. The sun's out. Got a sun star in my time lapse. I don't even know if this is going to be worth it, man, but might as well. But if you've been following this channel for the very little amount of time it's been on, you know how much I love a, a good time lapse. Going for like a seven second time lapse and I'll probably move. The sun's starting to hit the snow. Get some good contrast. Might get one more picture. All right, the light is quite harsh now. Um, been walking around here for over an hour and a half. It's been awesome. It's been an awesome morning. Man, this has been so sick. I think I'm gonna get my last image here. Pretty straightforward. We got the light hitting across the trees that have been on the bottom of Mount Rainier this entire time. So we got some light hitting that. There's still some fog and mist. We got atmosphere in the foreground. Got this nice little pit that has a lot of contrast. I wish I came here sooner because it's a little too bright. I think the highlights are blown out on the edge of it, but I'm gonna bracket it, try to bring those down. But it's got a really cool divot. It's got a, it's got flow, and that's what I think that's what really matters with like these rolling hills and snowy pictures. Is you have to have flow with contrast to really show the depth of each hill and each roll and each flow of each. Ah, God, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm so tired. I'm gonna take this picture. Pretty much bracketing this last image. Here we go. this video this morning I thought it was gonna be like a video for the whole day but man I think I'm gonna make this whole morning's experience just one one video got a lot of footage out there I did not expect this at all when I pulled up here I just thought it was gonna be just snow and the light bluebird sky alpenglow that's it but I mean when I got here I just I saw that misty fog coming off the hill and I was like oh man we might have something special here and we did I'm very very stoked on a few of those images. I've been out here for, God, almost two and a half hours now. So I think that's a full video. And I'll make the rest of this weekend to not read out a whole other video where I will show our Airbnb and what we're saying. So stick around for next week because that's probably the video that's gonna be coming out. And I do have plans for what I want to do while I'm here. So this was one of them, checklist, Reflection Lake. <laughs> did not know, did not even think about it being completely covered in snow. We are at such a high altitude. I don't know why I didn't think about snow still being here, but it was. And I'm actually kind of glad because, because that was awesome. That was literally, I would not have gotten that at any other point of the year. Being able to drive up here, walk out on the lake, all, man, it was that, that misty fog just really created that atmosphere. It was awesome. I do plan on coming back up here later in the summer to actually get a reflection of Mount Rainier on Reflection Lake. So I will be back here at some point. Rest of this trip though, and for next week's video, we have clouds moving in and I'm really fighting to figure out how low the low clouds will be and how high I need to go. It is very hard to get high with snow being a huge factor. So there is this fire lookout I'm gonna go check out today and see if I can get to it. It's a very high elevation. I think it's like 5,000 feet elevation. My hope is tomorrow morning, 
we're supposed to have really low clouds. I think they're supposed to be a high ceiling. I don't really know what they're supposed to be. Essentially, I want to get above the clouds and take photos that way at a very high elevation. It's hard to do with snow. I'm going to figure it out today. If not, I mean, we'll just have a nice relaxing rest of my trip in Mount Rainier. But this was a successful morning. I'm very happy and very pleased with it. I did not expect this at all. And I love, love doing the grind, doing it, getting up early saying I'm doing this no matter what, Ugh, just gritting my teeth, suffering through it, getting here with the biggest payoff. Love it. It is such a good start to the day too. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps me out a lot. It's free. It's easy to do. Please like the video. If I don't get a like for all the B-roll I did going up and down these, moving the camera, going back up and down, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do because that's a lot of work. Hit the thumbs up button for that alone. Please. If you enjoy this kind of content, I put a video out every single week. Consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell when the video does come out. I try to bring my experience as a new landscape photographer to you in YouTube. I try to teach you some tips and tricks along the way that I've learned that maybe you might learn and avoid the mistakes that I've made already. So yeah, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. As always, in the comments, let me know what photo was your favorite. Give me some critiques if you have any. If you have any advice or constructive criticism, please let me know in the comments below as well. We'll see you next week with the next video of Mount Rainier National Park and I'm gonna go get some sleep. <laughs> God. Uh.